Tonight, a suspect is under arrest in connection with a string of sexual assaults. Just this morning, a woman was raped while out for a morning run. CBS 2's Dick Brennan has the story. Definitely the news today was pretty shocking. And scary. Yeah, very scary. Sabrina Mertz is training for the New York City Marathon this Sunday, but tonight is having second thoughts about running along the Hudson River jogging path. So it's a little surprising that it was that much in the open, um, which makes it a little bit scarier than normal. This comes as police have charged this man, Carl Fainer, in the horrifying rape and robbery of a 43-year-old woman at around 5.30 this morning while she was jogging near Pier 45 between 10th and Christopher. She was just kind of saying, I need help, I need help. And I said, okay. Gabrielle Sumpkin came to the jogger's aid. She seemed not well, so I kind of turned my head and I saw that she was bleeding on her elbows. Um, and I was like, are you okay? Like, what's going on? Hours later, police say they arrested Fainer, trying to use the victim's credit card at the Midtown store. He has 18 prior arrests for assault, drug possession, and theft. The suspect in this case is also charged in two other attacks, one in late March, the other in early October. In the attack last month, police say he put a 48-year-old woman in a chokehold near the FDR Drive at 37th Street, and in March, choked a woman near Pier 40. Definitely kind of makes you think twice about leaving the house and at what hour and what it looks like, whether it's day or night. Women here say that while it's reassuring a suspect is caught, you can't keep your guard down. Common sense and also just, especially as it gets uh, colder out and there's fewer people out being aware of our surroundings. On the West Side, Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News.